Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to week 34 of my Instagram live. Sorry for being exactly one minute late, but I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. And uh, welcome to week 34. Let me sort out my son who wants to be part of Instagram. Like, bye, Ariane, love you. All right. And um, I'm here. So, guys, um, welcome to... Hope, no barking, please. I'm on live Instagram. So, firstly, let me do a big shout out to everyone who is online with me on my week 34. Starting with 09 Nike underscore doctor. Marwan, of course, Ibn Abbas, what's up, my brothers? Bonit Preswala, um, Pooja, Limitless Pooja, the Amjad, QNET official, that's Rita. My brother Adli Hassan, who's rocking Born to Fly World Tour in Africa. Right now he's in Ghana. Elisa, Muktadir, what's up, my brother? Tipa, Renuka, Kunan, how are you? Vicky, I hope you enjoyed your long holiday in France. All right. Khalil Khan, okay, Bala Krish, uh, Ritu, DNJ, Banaji, Baiju, Luis Blancos, how are you? Uh, Laureen in the house, Kalai, missing you, how are you, Kalai? All right, Kantira, Aku, Ankurpal, Ayush, Jagdeep Singh, Kanchan, Jeremy, Choki, Amal, Assalamualaikum, Jan, Du, Leah, Jacob, Latla, Katu, Vela, Vinod, Aditya, Subhas, Hope, don't bark. Alright, Spurjan, Tony, Noril, Huda, Aisha. I have to do a shout out to Sati because I don't know what's his handle for Instagram, but he claims he's always online. Brijesh, big shout out to you. Can't wait to see you at Vicon. Taru, Shaik, Mohit, Ajay, Sanwar, Avijit, uh, Yasin, Pulak. Ritesh, Mahesh, to all of you guys. So firstly, all right, to all my Muslim brothers and sisters, Assalamu Alaikum, wherever you are in the world. To all my French-speaking warriors, bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. To every... Ah, Sati, I see you, I see you, Sat. All right. Um, to everyone speaking Russian, Privyat, Privyat, Privyat. Wanakam, Namaste, Namaskaram. All right. Aibowan, Apa Kabar, Nihauma. Sinchao, Mekalawa, Vigets, uh, Prane, Shipra, I see you, Vigets, Ola, okay, and greetings, greetings, greetings to everyone around the world. Alright, so welcome to week 34. So this, if I'm not mistaken, Kalai is Salam, I see you from Iran, Shah, uh, Shahdat, yeah, Raish, Ravindran, Kamlesh, QT, Kavya, Vikash, the Rohit, I see all of you guys. Alright. So, Salam, yes. Marhaba also. Okay, so this is week 34. That means it's Rank Advancement Week, correct? Yeah, it's a four-week Rank Advancement Month. So this is the week where the silvers become gold, gold becomes sapphire, sapphire become platinum, platinum become diamond, and the diamonds target for blue diamond. All right? Rank Advancement Week means you put everything in your life on hold and you focus on achieving your TAT, especially this week, all right, week 34. So guys, uh, I was talking to so many people, talking to our visionary and mentor, Dato Sri Vijay, Japadas Bismarck, okay, had some amazing guests from the India corporate family, a big shout out to everyone from Vihan, all right, amazing job, okay, for supporting our Indian network. We had so many guests coming from everywhere, I did the convocation for the university. I mentioned it on my Wednesday message uh, in QIU Pera, which is a state up north. Proud moment to see Dato Sri Vijay give his speech as the chairman of the university, to see all the students that we are providing the most affordable education in this country, guys. Right? So be proud that you're part of QNET. Uh, that's making a difference, practicing rhythm through the university. There's so many projects that we do around the world. And before I get into my message, VCon, VCon, VCon. Sold out. Sold out. No more tickets. All right. Um, it's unbelievable, guys. I cannot wait for that moment 
all right, on day one, actually not day one, registration day, okay, when I see you guys all, okay, at the registration, and then when we do leveling or expectation to hear the, the passion, the voices, all right, your screams, it is going to be a life-changing, unbelievable event, I promise all of you. So VCon, VCon, VCon is on track. All right. So now let's come to this week's message. Okay. And I've been doing a lot of thinking. And I want you guys to really focus on what I'm saying. Even though it's Insta Live, please watch this recording on my grid over and over again. Give it to all your downlines to watch. All right. Make sure they follow the Wednesday message, the Insta Live. My YouTube, I'm struggling because Laureen and Claire are not pushing me for videos. All right, but I'll upload a video hopefully tomorrow. Now, I realize that the biggest confusion in our industry is everyone thinks our industry is unique. And it's true. It is unique. Okay? It, it, is, it is very unique. It's a concept of business, but allowing access to anyone into a form of entrepreneurship without the traditional headaches of, you know, investment, opening up your store and all that. But it doesn't mean that network marketing is a get-rich-quick scheme. You understand? You hear this statement everywhere, you know. So a lot of people just automatically think that they come into network marketing, find one on the left, one on the right, and then they're going to max out for the rest of their lives. If it was that easy to become a millionaire, in network marketing, I won't be sitting here today. I'll be on CNN. Dato Sri and Japa will be invited to the United Nations on how they change the global landscape of economy. Now, this is a business. The problem is, all of you, whether you like it or not, or 99.99% of you, the day you sign up, you came from an environment of employee mentality. All right, where you were told what to do, where you were not required to take ownership, where you did the bare minimum to earn your salary. And some of you may have been more ambitious, I believe, but general population would have been people who just did enough to earn. They did not take ownership. They did not decide to become the CEO of their company. They just said, I get paid. I have a stable income every week. Life is beautiful. But guys, network marketing is a business. And the greatest failure of why people do not succeed in network marketing, why they don't achieve some level of success in network marketing is not because the business is difficult. This business is the simplest business to understand, to explain. It's a no-brainer, you understand? You get great products, you get access to a global entrepreneurship platform which has limitless uh, income potential. So all of that makes sense. It's not rocket science, you understand? However, why do people struggle when they get into network marketing? Why do people struggle to even see some level of success in network marketing? Okay, let's not only talk about max out. Okay, I love talking about max out because I believe everyone should push themselves to the highest goal that they're supposed to achieve. No excuses. Dato Sri Vijay told me in 1998 when I signed up, Patman, do this big or go back home. Don't waste your time. I remember those words. All right? And I just believe in doing things big. A lot of people say, Chief, you always talk about max out because you do not sign up for QNET to earn 250 a week. You start at 250. You go to 500. That's 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, whatever. But your ultimate goal all right, your financial freedom goal is to start maxing out one tracking center consistently, no matter how long it takes. Some people take three years, two years, one year, five years, seven years, ten years. It doesn't matter. It is worth it, all right, to aim for that ultimate goal. And I realize the reason why people struggle in our business, and we always talk about this thing called paradigm shift or a mindset shift changing the the mindset of an individual the biggest mindset that people fail to change in our business is employee mentality to entrepreneurship mentality 
Because employee mentality is the worst mentality to have. All right? I'm sorry to say this, but there's no difference being, between being a slave and an employee. All right? But it's a conditioning. It's a programming. From the time you went to school, this programming started. Think about it. What did your parents tell us? Or what did our parents tell us? Okay, no exception. My mother told me the same thing. Study hard. All right? So you will get a good job one day. Make sure you get a degree so you will get a good job one day. It's get a job, get a job, get a job, get a job, get a stable job. Don't screw up your job, right? You come home and say you hate your boss, your parents or your spouse will say, shut up, you don't have a choice. They're paying our bills. You understand or not? And when you go to an office uh, mindset, when you go to an office environment, okay, it's psychologically built systematically to kill your passion, to kill your dreams, to kill your ambition, all right? Like come to work at nine o'clock sharp. You come late for 30 days, warning letter, all right? They tell you how to dress. They give you a card with your photo on it, like a tag, all right? Labeling you like you belong to this corporation or organization, all right? It does not allow you the freedom of speech, Unless you work for Dato Sri Vijay and Japa, we promote the freedom of speech and confrontation, everything. All right? It, it kills who you are meant to be. Now, when you have been in a job, and I'm not talking 40 years, eh? even one year working, your mindset already deteriorates. Your dreams vanish. Ambition is out the window. You are, you become a, a paranoid, insecure individual trying to hang on to their jobs by doing anything and everything, you know. All right. This is very sad, but this is the reality of the world. Now, then somebody did a presentation and you saw the presentation and you signed up. Okay. And now you are in a world of entrepreneurship, but your mindset is still employee mindset. That's the number one reason why people do not succeed in QNET. Because they try to succeed as an employee. It cannot work. You are now an entrepreneur. You are now a business owner, a businessman, businesswoman. I know it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't look like it. Because your business is a dot in a computer called a tracking center. You understand? And people cannot, am I really a businessman, businesswoman? They call me an IR. I hate the term IR. I argue every day with everyone. You know, Atli and Sati, we should destroy this term IR, independent representative. We should call it business owner. All right? Because your tracking center is your business. The beauty about network marketing is that you don't have to rent a building, hire employees, nothing. You can work from home. Your mobile phone can make you a multimillionaire. All right? Zoom can make you a multimillionaire. V2 Plus will make you a multimillionaire. All right? Come to Vcon. Come to ISB. Uh, stay in the zone of the V partners, AVPs, V Council uplines you have. All right? Shut up, listen, do to your working upline. Okay? Follow the DNA and the vision of Dato Sri Vijay about touching a billion hearts and, and always be in service to your downlines. You know, everything we teach you. You're well equipped to become a US dollar millionaire, but you cannot succeed if you have employee mindset. So today on this Instagram live, I want to kill the employee mindset in you. Because if you truly want to succeed in network marketing, you truly want to become, inshallah, one day a max out king or queen, then... You have to have entrepreneur mindset, business owner mindset, CEO mindset. So the first rule, all right, of having this mindset of an entrepreneur or CEO or, or whatever, okay, your first rule is the 10 words that Dato Sri says, which has two alphabets each. Kala is very familiar with this. If it is to be, it is up to me. That's the first thing. It's called ownership. 
Because in an employee mindset, you can blame your boss, blame the environment, blame the company, blame your co-workers, blame your colleagues, blame the aircon in the office, all right? blame the internet speed in your office. You, you're, you're full of excuses. But the first rule of entrepreneurship, the first rule of owning your own business is very simple. If it is to be, it is up to me. You. This is your business. It's not mine. It's not Japa. It's not Dato Sri Vijay. We don't take money from your tracking center. Whatever you earn in your tracking center is 100% yours. It belongs to you legally. All right? And you can transfer the tracking centers. When you die, it goes to your son or daughter or your spouse. So if it is to be, it is up to me. Now, that's the hardest paradigm shift to achieve because your whole life before QNET, you could blame the world. You could hide behind policy, uh, economic climate, political challenges, uh, politics in the office, you know, being treated unfairly, discrimination. All of this does not exist in network marketing. QNET doesn't discriminate. QNET cannot discriminate. As long as you have 3,000 BV on the left, 3,000 BV on the right, you are paid according to your rank. And there's nothing that can stop you from moving rank except yourself. There's nothing that can stop you from doing presentation except yourself. There is nothing that can stop you from overcoming a crisis except yourself. All right? So that's the first paradigm shift that you must have. If it is to be, it is up to me. If it is to be, it is up to me. If it is to be, it is up to me. So there is no excuse. Lousy upline, not an excuse. Challenge in your country, not an excuse. Product late, not an excuse. Nothing is an excuse to an entrepreneur. Look at the entrepreneurs around you. Look at, don't look at Zuckerberg and, and, and Elon Musk and, and Ambani and all these big guys. Look at the common man on the street who is selling, you know, vada pao or selling noodles or selling falafel. All right, or selling cold drinks or whatever, rain or shine, their success is in their hands. All right, they will stand on the streets and say, come on, come on, come on, buy the best falafel, 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 falafel. They have no ego. They will beg you. They will smile when they don't feel like smiling. Rain or shine, there is no holidays for them. They don't use their children's birthday as an excuse. They don't use a national holiday as an excuse. They don't use and they don't have any excuses they can use. If it is to be, it is up to me. This is the fundamental rule of entrepreneurship, to kill the employee mentality. All right. Number two, the biggest paradigm shift. Every employee, the term called nine to five. Have you heard this? There's a song, you know, nine to five. Na, 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 na. If you know the song, I'm happy because you're my age group. If you don't know the song, I hate you, that means you're too young. All right. JR knows the song. Sati, Atli, they all know this song, I'm sure. Uh, even you, Kalai. Okay. So, uh, nine to five. This is the term used by everyone. All right. There's a restaurant called TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Why they created the restaurant? Because the restaurant is packed with people on Friday night because Saturday and Sunday there is no work. All right, this is, this is this pathetic mindset of employees where they think 9 to 5, 9 to 5, 9 to 5, 9 to 5. It's a temporary commitment. It's a temporary sacrifice in an employee's mindset. But you are now a business owner. You are the CEO of your freaking tracking center. This is your business, your life, your dreams. And you cannot think 9 to 5. You cannot think Saturday, Sunday is off. It's Sunday, 8 p.m. I am switched on 100%. All right? Because this is my business. So you don't have the luxury anymore. The minute you become an entrepreneur, the minute you become a business owner, you don't switch off at 5 p.m. You don't take off on Saturday and Sunday. You do not have the pathetic privileges of the rest of the world. All right. So if you want to be a millionaire, you want to, you know, uh, fulfill all your dreams, you want to reach for the skies, then there is no time. There is no time limit. 
There is no off days. There is no privilege of switching off. Even if you are freaking sick, you get online. Do you understand? I had COVID. I was admitted in the hospital. Some of you remember. And, and I had to do my Instagram live. And I went live. Right? I think the only day I will not be uh, doing this is when I'm physically not capable anymore. But as long as my mouth can move and somebody can record a camera, I will still make videos. This is a business. It's your business. There is no time that you can take off. This is a 24 by 7, 100% commitment. Now, a lot of people tell me it's unfair, chief. I have a family, blah, blah, blah. I understand. But I'm not asking you, all right, to work out or to work for the rest of your life 24 7. When you reach financial freedom, like many people on the call today, you control your time. But until you have the financial ability to control your time, you give 100%. There is no off days. There is no clock. All right? There is no switching off. This is the most fundamental paradigm shift that never happens to people. They come with employee mentality. Sunday, they don't want to do anything. They call it family day. Are you kidding me? You are doing this for your family. So tell your family to chill out for the next three to five years. They're not going to miss you. All right? For three to five years, tell them, leave you alone so you can build. And then when you come back, you can spend all the time with your family, guys. So this rule of, of time is so important. Nigeria, I see you guys. I see all of you guys. All right? You need to give 100%. You get to give every moment of your time. There's no off days. There's no switching off. Don't use your social needs as an excuse to delay achieving your dream. That's the second paradigm shift. All right. The third paradigm shift is that you don't have a boss and you don't have employees in this concept of entrepreneurship. Your downlines are not your employees. Your uplines are not your bosses. They have to earn your respect. Your downlines need your dedication, commitment, passion, your heart, 24 hours a day, all right? So remember this. This is not an employee, employer. Dato Sri Vijay is not my employer. He's my upline. He's my brother. The reason why I respect him so much, the reason why I edify him so much, because he took a loser like me and made me into who I am today, gave my family financial freedom, never gave up on me, even when I gave up on myself, that's not an employer. That's a mentor. That's an upline. That's a big brother. That's an unbelievable human being. Are you guys with me or not? So there's no employee. There's no employer. Everyone are your partners. Treat them with respect. All right? Give them time. Hold their hand. All right? Love them unconditionally. Be there during the dark hours, the rainy days. All right? Don't use them just for you to max out. Help them max out. Make their max out your priority and you will max out automatically. This is the life. There's no employer and employee in network marketing. Everyone is equal because your downline tracking center is entitled to max out equally as yours. And I have seen, and you can ask Adli and Sati, I've seen millions of cases, not millions, thousands of cases where downlines earn faster and earn more than uplines. Now, this means that you don't have power. There is no automatic power just because you have two downlines and treat them like dirt. Then you lose them. All right? You need to understand that your downlines, without them, you are nothing. So in an uh, employee mindset, there is no need to establish trespass. There is no need to have love, respect, in-service, nothing. There is a clear contract tells you what you do and you do it, you get paid. If you don't do it, you get fired. Simple as that. But in this business, you need to earn people's respect. You need to be there for them. They need to be there for you. It's, it's about building a family. And finally, all right, you see, in employment, you can walk away anytime. You just tell your boss, I quit. And equally, your boss can fire you. 
all right because it's a contractual relationship but in network marketing there's no walking away because you made promises to these people you're not building this build this business short term there are no shortcuts don't be moronic and cheat and lie and misrepresent and overpromise for what how much money can you make before your network collapse or before somebody takes drastic action against you you are here not to build your business for today you are here to build your business for generations to come because you see in an employee mindset you don't give a shit about your company all right the company goes bankrupt you move to another company you just prepare your what do you call it cv correct and you send it out for applications but here is not like that datu sri vijay and japa told me jr kuna the directors the v partners adli david arun sati dave and all the v partners he told us that we must keep this company alive for hundreds of years we must build a system that will live beyond us so here you are building long term because you're not an employee you can't walk away from qnet on what basis what do you tell your downlines you made promises to your downlines you told them you will be here forever you told them that they can achieve financial freedom and suddenly it gets a bit tough and you walk away impossible not possible guys all right this is a long term business you're not building today you're building forever and i love the term of patek philip patek philip is a luxury watch company and their statement is you never actually own a patek philip you merely look after it for the next generation you understand and this is exactly what datu sri vijay says we don't own this company we don't own this network we are looking after it to the best of our ability for the next and the next and the next generation so you don't actually own your tracking center you are merely building and looking after it for the next generation that's going to ben- benefit from your tracking center so remember guys all right you need to kill the employee inside of you you need to destroy that mindset you are now an entrepreneur you own your own business and this is the only business that doesn't have conditions doesn't ask you to to sell your house or right to to set up an office and take all kinds of risks we take all the risk for you you just have to build you understand but you must build as a business owner as a ceo that you must have that level of ownership all right so guys if it is to be it is up to me you understand destroy all the excuses that you used to have in your life and make week 34 your greatest freaking week ever this is your business it is your life it is your income it is the promises you made to thousands of people directly or indirectly right your potential is limitless and i promise you no matter who you are where you are from as long as your tracking center has 3000 bv on the left 3000 bv on the right we will pay you as we have been paying for 24 years guys all right so i love all of you i can't wait to see many of you at vcon All right those the lucky ones who got the tickets and this year let's raise the bar higher let's close 2022 with a bang let's make week 34 the greatest week ever and i want to say i love you guys i'm proud of you stay strong even though you're going through a challenge i promise you it will pass i've been here for 24 years as a proud downline of datu sri vijay and japa we have been through so many challenges every challenge will pass i promise you stay focused never 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 give up never 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 switch off never listen to the morons out there don't trust anything you read online okay you know who we are we've been around for 24 years you know japa you know that to sri vijay we built this company with our hearts all right so from my heart to yours i love you guys all right and let's make we 34 the most unbelievable week ever